seen in action. And so to address that, I went out through my PLN and I asked my PLN if um, there were any volunteers that would provide virtual field experience in science and social studies. And then I, I ended up terming that, uh, doing research on it, on, and I, I called it, I coined it the iMentor. And so if I couldn't, if I couldn't guarantee that the teacher candidates were going to see it, um, you know, get a local field experience, I could guarantee through social media that they would see both science and social studies being taught. And I've probably implemented that iMentor um, method for, you know, the last five years, and it's been really successful. Um, and it wasn't necessarily um, started because I was looking to show them what it connected learning looked like. I really wanted them to be able to see science and social studies in an elementary classroom. Mary Alice, before you um, get done here, tell them about the uh, big event that you all are planning. Oh, yeah. Okay, Go well, for I guess, it. I, I, if anybody's coming to ISTE, I'd love for you to come to our connected teacher educator session at ISTE. Um, last year, when it was Connected Educator Month, you know, I, I connected, um, you know, all of our the students that I had in the fall during the month of October, but it made me start to think about where are all the connected teacher educators? And I know it can be feel very isolating um, in higher ed when you're the connected educator on your campus or you've got a couple but you don't have everybody on board. So um, in collaboration with the uh, connected educator month in October, I'm hoping we can um, we can bring our islands together and we can we can really merge forces here for connected teacher educator month. So that'll be hashtag CTE15. That'll be my session at ISTE. But the other exciting one that Joe just asked me to mention is we're going to have a digital citizenship summit on our campus at the University of St. Joseph October the 3rd. It's a Saturday and um, that uh, URL is digsitsummit.com or the hashtag digsitsummit. Um, we will also we'll have a live audience but we'll also live stream it and we'll have a virtual audience and you could follow either by the live stream or on Twitter, and I'm hoping that uh, Judy actually will periscope uh, what she's doing right now. So I'm periscoping you right now, Skyping into yeah. us here, by the way. Yeah, maybe oh you could put God. the link to that on the Google Doc <laughs> that we've got here for this session, uh, Mary Alice. I know that uh, Lynn Hilt also put together a Google Plus community for innovating higher ed. There's also a Boxer group for innovating higher ed, hashtag IHED. So we'll get as many people today, um, you know, subscribe to that and, and contributing it as possible. So thanks for joining us. Hey, Rockstar status. Thanks so much for having me. Thanks. So how about we hear from one of the other rules of, of EdCamp I found is you can't be polite.